Hey YouTube family, how are you? It is I, CC, also known as She's a Star. I am back with part two of No Open Altars. Now, I feel very strongly about this. And like I said in the first video, this is just my opinion. You don't have to do anything. This is just me voicing how I feel about open altars. If I come to your house and I see um, your altar out in the open, I'm going to be looking at you like you're crazy. Because that is sacred, okay? No one should be able to view your altar. To, to, to be able to... To be able to get close to something so precious and that is almost like your, you know how they say, um, some people when they're in a relationship, they say their better half or um, their soulmate. That that altar is your extended life. Like that is your, that is just, you know, I don't even know how to say it, but it's just like with a mojo bag. When you make a mojo bag, it is of your... How do they say it? Your moyo or your soul. And if should anybody get a hold of that mojo bag, especially if your hair, your nails, or anything of anything on you, your DNA is in that bag, it could be detrimental. So that's how I look at the altar. You know, people come over and they can sit there and they can put something around your altar or just you know, stare it down and pray bad things over it and 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 just by their bad vibes alone just really piss off your ancestors. You never know. You just never know. I'm just looking at all the possibilities, okay? So that's the reason why I don't agree with having an open space, an open altar space. I would recommend, if you don't mind, um, maybe getting a armoire. If not an armoire, go to Kmart.com. Put in TV stands, and you'll find some really inexpensive TV stands that have the doors where you can actually, if you are into do-it-yourself type of work or anything like that, you can just go online to YouTube.com, put in how to install a lock, and it'll show you how to. You can you can make this work. And, you know, you can put in your favorite color. If you have the back porch, if you have that space back there in your back porch, you go back there, sand it down, do do whatever you have to do to personalize it, make it your own or whatever. So that's just, that's all. I just feel like, you know, you never know. Pest control comes in, they want to spray something. Maintenance comes in, they want to check something. Uh, the office comes up, they have to inspect or, you know, have the the people <laughs> have people come in who like say for example you need a new fire hydrant um or I'm sorry fire extinguisher you know you never know people come in with their energies good or bad I don't want you around my altar I don't want you giving any offerings to my altar. It does not work like that. This is for me, me only, and for me to be able to connect, um, and, and just for me, higher self, ancestors, this is for us, okay? This is not for you to come in and criticize. This is not for you to come in and make a mockery out of. This is a part of me. This is like my, my other half. <laughs> So that's all I have to say, family. It was kind of difficult for me to get it out because I really am kind of tired. Um, I just got off um, the line with Miss Nikki Love. You guys check her out. Miss Nikki Love, Woo Nam, baby. Yes, go to Blog Talk Radio. I, once again, I know you guys are like, yeah, doesn't she have a video about a lady named Nikki? Yes, I have to because she's awesome. She's amazing. Um, she's one of those people who are very genuine. And I'll say it again. I'll time and time again. I'll tell you the same thing. I just feel very strongly about her. She just seems like a genuine person. And when I find people like that, usually we always try to please the people who don't mean us any good. But the ones who are trying to fight for us and and fight for the you know the good in us and, and trying to help us and, 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 and usher us along in this life. We usually turn them away and always try to fight for the ones who don't mean us any good. So when I find a good person now, I broadcast it to the world and I tell them how much of a wonderful person I think they are. And I invest 
in them. So yes, Miss Nikki Love. You can go to Nikki Love Wunam.com or you can go to Blog Talk Radio, put in Nikki Love. You can go to Facebook, Nikki Love Wunam Society. You will find her. She's a wonderful person. She's a reader. She she does many things. She's very very, very talented. She's a very talented woman. Her music, her books, oh okay, check her out, okay you guys? So, I'm just really tired right now, so forgive me if throughout this video I have stumbled over my words and I've sounded like a, a rambling fool, but I just had to get that out. I'm actually going to do another video about how I feel about people in these metaphysical stores who claim to be all, you know, one with the universe and namaste, but they sit there and they, they do just some of the most stupidest and they and they talk about you and they and, and they pick at you. It's like taking me back to high school, actually middle school, <laughs> taking me back to middle school with you guys, really. Okay, like bullying and just really don't say namaste and then turn around and do <laughs> do some childish stuff. I just can't stand it. So that'll be my rap video, and that will be coming soon. All right, family. Talk to you next time. Bye.